Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on Project Vivaro, our builder's van. And if you like what we're doing here and would like to support the channel, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you've seen a previous video when we put some soundproofing or sound deadening in the van, uh, you would have maybe noticed that I said that we had some rattles. So I've been ordering some bits to try and sort out the rattly front suspension. And I'll show you the bits there. I've got a big box of stuff. Here we go. Got some block links, two front arms, and some track bot ends. And in there is some uh, sway bar or anti roll bar bushes. Bits, we have bits. So when I first heard the knocking, I looked into getting some new bushes to press into the original arms. Now, I priced it all up and yeah I could get the bushes for I can't remember exactly how much but then this kit this whole kit not including them this kit so we got both arms both track rod ends both drop links with new ball joints and bushes that was just under 80 pounds for all of it now just to change the bushes, I think it was 40 quid or something. And then the ball joints and so I thought, wow, you know, eight quid, whole front suspension. And then I had to buy these um, sway bar or anti roll bar bushes, which were about 18 pounds. I think these are male ones. So they're German made. Um, if you do order them, you have to measure your sway bar diameter because there are different ones. But anyway, for this part, well, for all of it, under £100 to change the whole front suspension, get rid of that knock-in, make it feel better to drive. Got to be a good thing. All right, let's start by getting the wheel trims off, bolts loosened a bit, and then up in the air. And the reason I'm doing these is because on the right-hand side, driver's side, you see the... Oops, sorry. That's the anti roll bar. And on the passenger side, excuse me for walking around. So, yeah. No. When the suspension is down, or it's on the wheels, that actually clunks. Sorry if that's more brilliant, let's try that. Is that better? Yeah, anyway, that's why we're doing it. Welcome to the under arch of the Vivaro. So, obviously this is the suspension arm, control arm, what do you want to call it? Lower wishbone, we've got to take out. So, what I'll start with is I'll take out a drop link, sorry if the light is bad, which is 17 mil nut there, 17 mil nut on the back of there. I think it's a 16 in behind there. I think it's 16. If not, um, some of them have got a, a sort of Allen keyhole there, but they tend to round out. So I'm going to go for the 16 on the back. Then we've got the track rod end, which is a 21 mil in there, and 17 mil on the ball joint end. Um, all I'm gonna do is just crack that one off and then leave the nut where it is just to keep the setting roughly the same. Um, after taking them off, I'm gonna do the um, anti-roll bar bush. And in behind there, can you see it? Let's get the light, oops. There it is in there. Oh, it's hard to see. It is a bit awkward to get to, you've got to do it from under, under, the underside. So yeah, there's two 13mm bolts that hold that in. And then after I've loosened everything off and took everything off that I need to, then we're going to undo that one in there. Sorry, can't see it again. That one there. Can you see my finger? No, you can't. That one there. That's a 24mm. And then... Oh, big bang. That one in there, which is a 21 on the top, and I can't remember what it is on the bottom. 
19 maybe I can't remember and then there's the other side which is again a 21 on top but the bottom one that one is a 30 mil and uh, that can be flipping tight let me see it under there that bad boy there 30 mil so um, I've been soaking all this for a few days with knees and oil so hopefully it should come out quite easily so let's make a start well, we're going to start with the drop link, which hasn't got a uh, flat on the back, which is a bit of a pain. So let's hope it's all okay. It's all been sprayed anyway. So a 17 mil with a five mil Allen key in it. Oh. There we have it. So drop link. Then the track rod end, which is 21 mil there, 17 there. Before I take all this out, I'm just gonna slacken off that bottom ball joint nut. Oh god, that went very tight. More resistance than that. Anyway, that's slackened off. Should be able to remove this now. Right, I know we said, or oh, I said I was going to do the uh, anti roll bar next, but I'm not. So this is the 30 mil. Oh god, this is loose as well. Right. Let's see if we can wrap that one off. tight one and slap this back one off take this one off the rest of the way which is the 24 which was a bit looser than I expected but... right we're gonna try and split that ball joint I'm gonna use this ball joint splitter see if it works don't know how much you'll be able to see of this, sorry. Oh, it's gone. That was easy, wasn't it? Right. Proper job. Let's see if we can get that bolt out. Uh, looks like we might have to move the drive shaft forward a bit. Should go there. Perfect. And then let's see if we can get this arm out. I don't know. 
and tighten it up here. Quite. Oh, before we take them off, I need to take the wires off, don't we, for the uh, ABS. If we don't pull this out too far, you'll want to pull the uh, dry shaft out of the gearbox. Right, we're back with a new arm. Let's see if we can get it in. This might be uh, easier said than done, actually. Um, To go back to my original plan and take that anti roll bar bush off. That's two 13 mils, and um, you've got to get underneath to get them. Right back to the arm, let's see if we can uh, get it in by moving that out of the way. Trap me wire. If I can get that back bolt in, that will help. But I cannot. Not at the moment. Blows. All right, top bolt, top bolt. Try and get this top bolt in. Don't know which way it's got to go. It doesn't want to go in. And to get that arm in, we had to move the drive shaft and the hub behind the arm, just so we could get that back bush all lined up. But those bolts are in now. So I'm gonna whiz them up, gotta get that ball joint in. Mount it down there, take a bit of fiddling, I'm sure, but we'll get there. Sorry about that, I had a bit of a battery moment. Anyway, so now we have gotta get the hub back onto the ball joint. So hopefully, let me just, oh, I've got to get that over. Ow. Caught on that anti roll bar there. So push that one down now. Hopefully go in. The hole for the ball joint. Sorry, can't probably see much of this. But uh, it's in there. There you go, she's in. Got a new nut for the ball joint. That's a bit mucky. 
hoping it doesn't spin because there is a hole for an 8mm Allen key in the top but there's no way I'm going to get that in there if it does spin I'll have to put a jack underneath put some weight on it it's spinning Buds up this back one. And now the front one. And then we change bush on the you know, eat roll bar or sway bar. Well, that's the new bush thing. I tried to record it, I don't know how much of it you saw, but basically, there's just two 13s in there, and it's just very awkward to get to. All right, then, I've got to wind this track rod end in. Touch that nut. Washer underneath it. I didn't like the look of it uh, without a washer. And this is more than likely going to spin and need the jack underneath it. Oh, helps if I put the ratchet spanner the right way. I'm just going to tighten that one up. And pretty much the last thing to go in is the uh, drop link and you can see this one has got flats on it so good out. So here we have it. I have just tightened that one up. You eagle-eyed ones, you would have noticed I didn't earlier. So, we've got new trap roll end, new uh, lower arm, new drop links, and new anti-roll bar or sway bar bushes in there. So, oh, and I did put the wire back in as well. Can you see it? Yeah, that's all tight. I've tightened those up as well. Job is a good one. Okay, it's a few days later. We're on the passenger side and I've managed to change the drop link, the anti-roll bar bush, the track rod end, but I cannot get that 30 mil nut undone. Hang on, just climbing underneath. That one there, that one is as tight as a badger's ass. And I would like to say that no badgers were harmed during the making of this video. So I was actually worried about pulling it off the axle stands. I was pulling so hard. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this wheel back on, on the blocks, and then um, give it some what for. Right, so this 30mm, we've got a impact socket on it and our trusty old 
Holford's, I don't know how long this is, two foot bar I suppose. Let's see if we can do this. Oh. God. Oh. Uh, that's a no. Blimey. Let's try a tube on the end of the trusty Holford's breaker bar. Right. Next up, I've borrowed this rather large, it's only half inch drive, but it's Bosch Ugga Dugga. Um, let's have a go, let's see if it'll go. I think the problem with it is the nut has actually got a, a sleeve on the back end of it that goes into the bush. I reckon it's corroded to the actual uh, bush inside. Um, I don't think the thread's a problem, but it's still got to come undone. I don't really want to put tons of heat into it because obviously it'll break the bond between the sleeve and the bush. So let's try this, let's see what happens. Take that as a no. All right, things are getting serious now. It's got a three quarter drive, ratchet, and a six foot scaffold tube. All right, let's see what we can do with that. This is the setup I've got now. Uh, basically, I've just put the jack under there just to stop it falling off because I can't hold it. And uh, I'm gonna put the tube Sorry for wobbling you. On the back of this and see how we go. Is that done up? Right, let's see what happens. Six foot scaffold tube. Oh, oh! Oh, something's happening. God, oh, that's bloody tight. I think, I think we got it. Over that or it's snapped. Or the top spinning. Something's happening. I can't feel the top. Uh, oh, top spinning. Right. Let's get the spanner on that then. We've resorted back to normal position on the old axle stands. I've got my spanner on the top, and I'm going to try. Is that going to yeah, see that? The Bosch one on the bottom. Let's see if we can rattle it off. Can you see the, the nut? Hang on, let's move it. Sorry. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, what? 
Sí. There she blows. That's, that's hot. See what I mean? It's got the step that goes all the way up inside. But we got it. Yay! I can finish this side. Woo! 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 And there we go. <laughs> We've actually got it on there. All nice and tight. Ready to rock and roll. And then got to get the tracking done. Here's all the bits we took off, and some of them aren't too bad, and some of them are. I mean, that one, that drop link, is is at it. But, <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, nutless now. Um, track rod ends, they seemed okay. That one's a bit wobbly, a bit loose. So, um, yes, uh, these are pretty badly worn, and they're so hard. So, yep. Yeah. That's a good job done. Uh, lower arms, not too bad on this side. So that's nice and stiff, that's been changed. Well, it moves. But this end is, well, it's rough and wobbly. So, and the bushes are a bit worn, you can see. Uh, yeah, not too bad, but it was worth doing for the one kit. Right, we're out on a test drive. Sounds good to me. All I can hear is the back doors rattling, so. So there's no clunking. I haven't had the uh, tracking done yet, which because it's too late um, and everything's shut. So I'm going to book that, get that done. Um, yeah, a good DIY job. But the hardest thing was that flipping 30 mil nut. Um, but yeah, we got there. Uh, what else can I say? Oh yeah, be careful when you are mucking about with your rear strut. Don't don't pull the uh, drive shaft out of the gearbox because you lose all your oil and you have to get it back in again. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. I just hope I hope it's of some use to you. Oh, slow down. Um, and uh, yeah, don't forget to follow us on Instagram on uh, Lux underscore Workshop. Chuck it down there and give us a thumbs up if there's anything good to you. If you enjoy it, um, consider subscribing. And I hope to see you next time. Stay safe. Cheers, then. Not very lumpy, bumpy, chunky, conky. If you looked at or no. Uh, uh.